In front of me here are the two pieces that I had done on canvas with the spirograph. One of them is upside down. As you can see, I changed the center here from a dark black. I kind of fiddled with it, covered it with um, white using the acrylic I had. Now someone has pointed out two um, important tips that you will see in the comments section of the videos on Spirograph on Canvas. The, the first important tip is that the markers that come with the Spirograph set are water-based. And um, this person pointed out that even after a month, the actual uh, markers are not going to change enough. They are still going to more or less dissolve with a fixative because they're water-based. And um, it was suggested that I use Sharpie markers. Now, I did find some Sharpie markers. They're permanent, they're alcohol-based. I found them in colors. I have ordered them, and in a few minutes, um, I'm going to use the one that I have here in black to test that on an acrylic paint surface on a canvas board. But first, it's only been a few days, but um, I want to test the theory that a month isn't going to make a difference. Now, like I said, it has only been a few days. But if it's correct that the water base markers are going to run, they probably are going to run anyway. And I feel a little bit silly because I actually had Sharpies with my pens that day. I had a couple of black ones. And I just didn't think of using a permanent marker on canvas. Now, that could be because of my background. I'm a pen and ink artist, um, primarily, and um, I use acrylic inks and technical pens. So, you know, it just didn't click with me that I should be using a permanent marker if I'm going to spray it with anything. So anyway, the first thing that we're going to do today is um, we're going to spray this and see how bad they come out, if it runs and or not. And I'm going to be using the Dick Blick matte fixative for drawings, reworkable fixative. Um, the other point that was mentioned is that different levels of acrylic paint will cover differently, which is true. If you buy a professional level or artist level white acrylic paint, it will cover better than the Liquitex basics that I have been using. My focus was on um, cost economy and, um, you know, I, I wasn't thinking let's make it as professional as possible. I was thinking, you know, how can we get it on there and have it be um, nice and yet um, done well, but art materials themselves range so much in prices from the very reasonable to the very expensive. I tend um, to stay on the lower price scale unless, let's say I was doing a commissioned oil painting. That would be a whole different story. Then the canvases are different, the oil paintings different, but that isn't what my focus was with this video, um, with these videos on Spirograph on Canvas. So let me shake this can up and I'm going to spray these and we'll see if they get ruined even though it's only been a few days because I mean it may be perfectly right that a month isn't going to make a difference and um, if I'm going to either throw them out or do them over I'd rather do it now. And then in a few minutes, we'll use a black Sharpie on acrylic covered canvas panel and see how that does. Now I am outside. I'm normally right handed, but I have to hold the camera. Um, there's no wind. There have been, as you might have seen, a couple of insects land on the painting. So we'll see if I'm pulling them out of this stuff in a minute. But. Um, I've shaken the can up and I'm just going to spray this on here. I expect them to run. Now that I have rethought washable markers, I expect them to run. 
this one right here is in marker this is in marker um, this is a flare in the center so let's see what happens and this is a reworkable matte fixative and they're not running they are not running they are not getting ruined look at that I am surprised I really am now surprised the flare didn't run and the washable markers did not run now this is reworkable which means it's going to put a little bit of a rough surface on top of this I may even be able to go over them again with another design so let me try the bigger one um, the lower one here had many coats of acrylic paint on it the top one only has about four total two white and two yellow now you can't see it but what you're really supposed to do is move back and forth like this when you're spraying it so that you get an even coat on there. I'm going to go top to bottom on that piece. They stayed. They did not run. I am amazed. And I'm glad. I didn't want to, I mean, I've, I've redone these about three times. So I didn't want to have to um, throw them away or have them get ruined right in front of my eyes. So that is, again, the Dick Blick Matte Fixative, which you can't see because of the shadow. Dick Blick Matte Fixative Reworkable. It's about $5.89 a can. Now, it'll take a few minutes for that to dry. So, um, I, you have to kind of check them. If it, it's wet enough on the surface so that if a little bug lands in it, the poor bug gets stuck there. So you do have to check them and make sure that you don't end up with anything in the surface. But there we go. The, mar the washable or water-based markers did hold. Okay, so now I'm going to try the Sharpies. Um, you will also see over here, I have about seven more of the spirographs done in ink, and a couple of them have marker on them that I have to take outside and spray. Those were the smaller ones that I had done the other day. This is an ultra fine point Sharpie permanent marker. This one is in black. And, um... I have an uncoated panel in 5x7 and what it has on it is the acrylic gesso that it comes with right from Blick. And then I have a smaller one that has yellow on it. And one of the comments was that yellow is always transparent. This is actually, my yellow on this is actually a mixed yellow, um, yellow and white, which makes it a little bit less transparent. But, um, as I said a moment ago, if you really want um, opaque color, you would have to get a very highly pigmented acrylic paint, and um, that's usually the artist level or professional level paints. So, let's try this. What I'm worried about, even though I ordered the colors, I just want to make sure that it's actually working well before I do this. It is a brand new Sharpie and I was using it the other day but um, sometimes there we go. Okay. What I was worried about with these is that and I don't even have to say it I was worried they wouldn't be um, solid enough on the canvas panel, and I don't have to say it. 
so this is the black one ultra fine is a little bit narrow for the spirograph holes and I'm going to let that dry for a moment before I add anything to it because I think this I can almost see it sitting on top of the canvas and um, you know so it, it would smear but I'm just going to give it a minute because these are permanent markers that probably dry very quickly and I'm going to keep it um, working, you know, well, having the ink flow well. So let's see if we can add to this. Now it is a little bit uh, resisting the acrylic paint, just a little bit. So you will get a very fine line with this. And you can see it paled out just a little bit there. Um, so that's on an acrylic primed, acrylic paint primed canvas panel. Now let's try it on the acrylic gesso panel that doesn't have any additional acrylic paint on it. And I'm using the number 60 wheel and the one outer ring that comes with um, the design tin set which is the 96 144 ring. And it goes on much heavier on a canvas panel that is not covered with acrylic paint. So there is a little bit of resistance from the acrylic paint to the Sharpie. But I don't think that would be a problem. Um, like when, when all the color markers get here, I'll just press harder. I didn't want to smear it all. But if I use an uncoated, um, well, the, with just the gesso on it, I'll know that it's going to react just a little bit different. Very little smearing. over that twice because it slipped a bit. Now granted that's in black and white, but if I... What I really liked about those canvases, and you'll notice I'm taking care not to put the poster putty, um, spiral putty, on top of one that I've just done like that. Um, I forget what I was saying. What I like about them is being able to do several on one canvas panel, even on the small ones. I did this one in the center, but I could actually maybe put an orange one up here, a blue one down here, or a red one over here. And I really like the way they overlap like that. Now let me change wheels just to give myself a little um, variety. I kind of have the, the number one hole off to the side. Now again, this is in black, but if this were in colors, it would be very vibrant. And that's without any acrylic paint underneath um, the drawing and on top of the gesso.
And this size, the 5 by 7 would also be good for many of the larger designs that use um, the rack. The smallest rack is about 5 and a half inches long, I think. And that makes the drawing go out at least an inch on either side. So that might not work. But like the, the very pretty triangle design would be very nice in a vertical way on this canvas panel. So there are two and um, for many years I worked only in black and white and many artists work in black and white so even if you only have a black sharpie you shouldn't worry that um, your drawing is boring. Wow, look at that. Very little smudging at all. Nice, even layout. So I'm glad I ordered the color Sharpies. There's a 5x7 panel. Now, probably what I'm going to do is let these three dry like that until the color Sharpies get here. And then I'm going to add color around these and spirograph designs. These are so much fun and that that is one of the key things with spirograph. They are fun. They're also, um, for me, they really are a therapy with PTSD. I have to get some sewing done and it just so happens that the sewing I have to do is connected to a kind of a PTSD event and it was difficult to think about doing the sewing. I was saying it was difficult to think about doing the sewing and doing spirograph helped and um, that little blip in the film is because the camera froze or something while I was talking. And my point with the PTSD is this is, especially I've been doing a lot of circles, um, circle designs. It is repetitive, but it lets you space out a little bit as you're doing it. And for example, if, if I had a piece of paper here instead of the canvas and I did 10 designs on a piece of paper, it helps with PTSD because there are thoughts that you can't resolve if they're connected to trauma or they're connected to events you can't resolve them just this physical action can help you deal with that so um, for me it works with PTSD it also helps if it's a finished art item so now I have these black and white structures that when the color ultra fine point sharpies get here I can add to or add things around and it'll be painting it's like painting it's like painting without all the oil paint or the watercolor or um, believe me I have more art equipment than you could ever imagine and yet this is almost the same satisfaction with um, setting up a structure and then going in and organizing color around it. Um, it's similar to painting. Painting is done differently, but... So, we found out today that the washable markers do not bleed or run when sprayed with the Blick Matte Fixative, and that the ultra-fine Sharpies work very well on canvas panels that either have an acrylic paint coating or have just the gesso coating that the panels come with and I'm sure they're going to be beautiful in color